last night at the Kahala Hotel and Resort. The lockdown trapped hundreds of guests and local residents dining on property who were forced to take shelter inside of a ballroom and a lobby. Nobody else was injured in the standoff. Those who were locked down explained what they went through in tonight's top story. Honolulu police say just before 6 o'clock last night, a man barricaded himself in his hotel room on the fourth floor of the resort and fired five shots. The report of the, the shots fired uh, occurred and security had gone to the hotel room to investigate. And while they were there, apparently um, the suspect shot through the door. And thankfully, the um, security guard wasn't standing in front of the door. Police and emergency crews descended upon the usually quiet Kahala area, rounding up guests and patrons to get to safety. As I was coming from the parking lot to the lobby, officer yelling at me, get in the lobby, get in the lobby. We just saw three officers, armed officers, kind of walk in. Um, and the manager was just like, everyone out. And it was kind of chaos from there. Everyone just went in different directions. They waited in the lobby and ballroom for a grueling six hours, but were given snacks, water, coffee, blankets, and pillows by hotel staff. I'm thankful that, you know, my family knew that I was safe. Um, we were all taken care of by the staff. They were wonderful. Information to those locked down was limited, and with a recent wave of mass shootings on the continent, it was a lot of time to think about their situation. You never think things like that are going to happen here, but... I think that's just, we need to be realistic about, you know, it could happen anywhere. And At about 1230, HPD coordinated to let people who were locked down leave the area. After that whole six hours plus, whatever, they said we're going to take out uh, non-guests through the back way. So we went downstairs from the lobby, through the restaurant, out on the beach with an officer, groups of 10. HPD says the SWAT team went into the man's room around 3.30 a.m., where they found him dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The Navy has not identified the sailor, but released this statement. Quote, a sailor from the Pacific Submarine Force is deceased. We are deeply saddened by the loss of a shipmate. Our thoughts and condolences go to the family and friends. Each member of our Navy team is important. This is a tragic loss to our force and the Navy family. We live and work here. We appreciate the support of law enforcement and the community, close quote. An attempted murder and reckless endangering cases have been opened.